you're going to find aluminum appearing more and more often in your daily life, in your business, in your sports and hobbies and around your home. Whether you're a manufacturer using aluminum by the truckload or a housewife using foil and countless new aluminum products, you're bound to see and use aluminum. Kaiser Aluminum. And when this happens, remember that this is an example of what a group of Americans can accomplish when they see an opportunity and set out to build together. In 1946, Kaiser Mead came out swinging. Nowadays, the place really rocks. Lots of caffeine. Kaiser's been here for a long time. And when I first came to work here 30 years ago, they everybody told me not to come to work here because there wouldn't be a job. And that's when they were automating the pot rooms and I've worked basically steady ever since. If the union company work together, which they're trying to do, I think the future is real bright, real good. Uh, people will accept change if they have a part of it and see it's for the good. The Mead plant has seen a lot of change in the last 50 years, and there's still more to come. I wish that I had another 10 years to stick around, you know, and see the see what is going to come out of this. But uh, as of the 31st of December, I'm I'm going to be history around here. I'm going to be gone. Uh, I had 45 years of fun. <laughs> Well, I've been in pot line for about 27 years now, and I've seen a lot of real great improvements come past in the last 10 years. I think we're coming a long ways, and we've got a bright future in our department with our crews. We've got a great set of people with them. It's really been a pleasure. I think the biggest change is the morale of the people. Uh, you're seeing some, a lot of people become natural leaders, bang, just like that. They up and come. And when they get up and coming, it's, it's almost hard to slow them down. And when they manage that pot line, there's a great deal of pride that you see in a lot of employees and it's opened it up. My personal opinion is steel workers, 329, they are the business. They are the bread and butter of this plant now. I mean, you're looking at the pot rooms as a joint venture. Half of that's owned by management of Kaiser Aluminum. The other half's owned by the steel workers, 329. It seems like we take more ownership in, uh, the, uh, in our everyday work. It's exciting to be here because things are changing for the better yet. One thing at Mead never changes though, serious commitment to hard work. Well, I'm still interested in knowing why you get to call yourself a workaholic. You're just standing around here. It's a novelty idea. Well, there may be a little downtime. But Mead workers know how to get the job done. We load uh, six cars today that will be close to, and the trucks we're sending the trend will be about a million pounds, give or take a few. Been here 32 years. If you're going to do it, do it right. <laughs> we know what to do, what, what's got to be done. I don't have to tell him what to do. I mean, he knows his job. You know, production, they, they do all they can to make as much metal as they can, so whatever it takes to do the job, they do it. And we try to put things back together for them and make, it, make their jobs easier. 
With recent investments, including the $54 million carbon bake project, the company's trying to make the job easier too, and more interesting. With modernization and technological changes, uh, there's always new things that come up that need to do. And uh, to me, it's fun. It tells me if this plant is here for the long term, uh, that's a big investment. And the reason that it looks different is the companies managed to spend here recently about half a million dollars to upgrade this piece of equipment, to take a furnace that's, that's 20 some odd years old and put some money into it and rebuild it. And to me, that, that shows the, the commitment that the company's got to keeping meat operating. You look at the Bake Furnace Project, which is uh, a, an enormous commitment to the meat operation. Uh, smaller things such as the furnace here, a lot of commitment towards not only safety, but the ability for the people to have the right tools to do the job so the meat can continue. Mead's future looks bright, and when you get right down to it, the biggest reason is it's great people. working that and we got the energy that I'm seeing now out there on the floor from the hourly individuals that are out there running those spot lines and that energy continues and we help facilitate that energy a little bit. There is no, I, I couldn't tell you what the year 2000 would look like. I think it could only get better and better and better. So I wouldn't even fathom, I couldn't even fathom how good it could get. When I first hired in it was a lot of fun. We worked together and I think what he's saying is that that's starting to return. Um, yeah, it seems like we have more uh, like our last night in our graveyard, we had a big dinner about two in the morning. You know, it uh, seemed we just do things more close-knit group than we ever used to. We're going to be here for a long time to come, but only if we all work at it. We're not, it's not just going to happen. We're not a national monument. It gives me hope that a lot of people that were never seen before are now part of the system and they're making their voices heard by wanting to be a part of it even though they get some bad feedback maybe from their co-workers. Kaiser's done well by me, and I've done well by Kaiser. I think we got a great bunch of guys. All, all came out here with a reason, you know, to make this thing work. Yeah. I, think, I think we're doing great. We kind of give each other a bad time all the time, but when we need each other, we're there. We started in modernizing in 1988 in this department, and we've had to run the department, supply the plant with anodes, and still modernize. And it's been a challenge for everybody. And everybody here, and like I say, in the last few years have changed, uh, got a good attitude. Uh, they can see that we're now gaining, and we're, you know, not everybody's pulling in different strings. They're all going right, same direction. 90% of the information that we received to install the, the new parts in the chip and booth was from the hourly people. It came right from the floor. I think uh, at one time somebody told me we had a total of 18 meetings over a two-year period. People came up with their suggestions, we put them on paper, we designed the equipment, we installed it, we worked out here on strictly a graveyard, we didn't interrupt any of the production on a, on a uh, day shift, swing shift operation. Uh, it was very successful, we turned it over to the people and they've run it ever since, it's just great. It's super, it really is. And we ought to have a lot more of that. There's, uh, you know, there's a lot of good ideas out there on the floor from the people that have to do the work and uh, they need to get down on paper. Things get tough. We we all jump in and pull together. <laughs> Sorry, this is not usable.
Gospel tape. <laughs> laughing about. I, I love it here, boss. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> How much has this costed me? We'll get the bill. <laughs> They're a great bunch of people to work with. It's getting better all the time.